it's that time again. Um, airbrush time. So I've got a practice for Tom's wheels. The way that uh, I find is best to have good results the first time is to practice your little heart out and when you get to where your practice is exactly, you know, sort of creates the exact results that you want, then you move on to the real thing. And until it's exactly what you want, you continue to practice. So, um, you know, they say practice makes perfect. I would argue that perfect practice makes perfect. So when you get perfect results in your practice, then you can move on to the real thing. So anyway, I'm just grabbing a couple colors here. Um, you guys know I am not an airbrush expert. I'm just trying to get by with what I'm doing and uh, sort of translate some of the things that are in my head into real life. So uh, what I do have here, which is pretty cool, is uh, my new airline set up on the bench. So I've got that. We've got a little regulator here. Oops forgot you got to hook this up to the gun first. I don't have the little quick release guy yet so uh, at some point I need to get a couple little uh, I guess extra doodads for the airbrush so that it just makes it better to use, easier to use something like that. I have removed that front piece, I don't know what you call that, the little ferrule that goes up there. So now we should be able to apply the old air there without uh, a problem and I've got it set about 40 pounds right now so we'll probably adjust that as we go but uh, we're gonna do a little practice session and see how it comes out I don't know what the ratio is there it's not half and half it's a little bit more than half paint but uh, Somewhere around that <clears throat> vicinity. We'll pour a little bit in here. And uh, I don't know. I haven't airbrushed in a while, so I might have to uh, get a little technique back here and uh, see, see if I can get uh, my airbrush to uh, cooperate. Cooperize. We're going to do some lightning, so uh, I think we're just going to start with. Uh, a little bit of this business. Lightning's kind of like a tree, you know. They're very organic, but there are some rules to it. So, first thing I'm laying down is just like, I guess, sort of a glow. And uh, we'll sort of go from there. But I'm going to come out here and make it really wide. that you know the origin here should probably be a little wider I've got some ideas for what I really want to do uh, when it comes down to Tom's car uh, Tom's wheels and uh, I really want it to have a 3d effect to it not just 2d so we'll practice that probably next and let's see so I think that's good for the base Maybe I should come over and make it a little bit, a little bit wider, maybe. And I'm getting lots of spatter when I start this thing up every time. They say you should start your, start your air off the page or just keep it going. So that's what we're going to have to practice here. Like I say, I'm still not real good at this. I just mixed up a little uh, transparent blue. I have no idea how transparent transparent is, but we're going to uh, sort of step back here and just fog this. I can tell you right now it's very cyan colored, which means we need to add some red to it to make this uh, what we want. I may have added just a little too much red, but we'll see. Uh, We've got a good base of blue down, so we'll just kind of tint it. Yeah, that's going to look good. I 
I'm probably going to do this. I'm going to say in three layers, but I don't know. We'll give it a shot and see. Seems like to me, if you want it to look dimensional, three layers is about what you want. So there we go. It's pretty good for transparent blue. I like it. We're going to do some detail. Alright, so <clears throat> this is our second layer, and what I'm going to try and do, I don't know if I'll be successful or not, but I'm going to try and dull some of this down, because I want to make another layer that comes over the top of this for that third dimension. So I want some of this to sort of be background, and I guess that probably takes a little bit of planning. So let's just say I'm going to have this guy come across here. So I'm going to need to darken these to put them in the background a little bit just through this middle section um, and then you know these things on the ends they're they're going to be out you know in the foreground but this one through the middle will have to be a lot thicker just in general than these thin guys back behind and then one other thing I'm thinking of is maybe we we'll want some cloud activity in here I don't know but uh, so I'm going to just kind of give this a little darkening in here a little dark through here, well, maybe a little dark through here. Maybe, maybe I have this thing come right over the top of that one and that one. So now we're kind of see how we're doing, and then we're going to come through maybe back this way. I don't know. Uh, and then I kind of want to push like that one back, and then. Maybe parts of this one just just for fun, kind of fade them out just a little bit so it looks like it's kind of coming in and out. I don't know. I'm just experimenting, guys. <laughs> That's what sort of makes this fun. And let's push this guy back. Okay, so that'll give me a little little basis to pull some things out front. So now. I guess it's going to be way more than three layers. It might probably be five or six, but that's okay. This is good fun. There we go. Probably a little overbaked. We kind of learned a lesson here. Got too uh, too involved. 
too involved. I'll sort of step back a little bit. Um, so, yeah, this little area in here got a little overbaked for sure. All this stuff. But I do like uh, sort of coming one over the other. And it's really hard to get this white, uh, really white on this uh, black paper. But I can tell there's a couple areas here that need need a little bit of work. You know, but uh, in general, the thing I've determined here is the tip. Got to keep the tip very, very, very clean. Always keep the tip clean. That's good information, right? Um, but, uh, yeah, a little bit of work to do, a little bit of practice. So we'll see. I may come up with another iteration of this, and uh, we'll film that as well.